This document is about calculations with uncertainties, and this one is about division. When quantities with uncertainties are combined, the results also have uncertainties, and so this discussion will be about inversion and division. So for the examples in, the, in here, the values of x equal to 2 plus or minus 1 and y equal to 32 plus or minus 0.2 will be used. So inversion is just taking 1 over a number. So, if we take the inverse of one of these numbers, for instance, 1 over 32 plus or minus 0.2, then that means z can be as small as 1 over 32.2, 32.2 being the biggest that we can have in the denominator, and the biggest value for z is 1 over 32 minus 0.2, which is the smallest value we can have in the denominator. So again, we have the smallest value, and then the nominal value is simply 1 over 32.0. So we can say that the, pro the inverse is 0 0.03125 plus or minus 0 0.0019. And we'll see, you can see that this value works out to be actually the ratio of 0.2 to 32. So the uncertainty in the inverse is the proportional uncertainty in the quantity times the inverse. So in general, the uncertainty in 1 over y is 1 over y times delta y over y. So again, the proportional uncertainty inverse of a number is the same as the proportional uncertainty in the number. Now, what if we have, instead of having a number like 1 that's a constant, what if we have two numbers with uncertainties and we divide them? What happens? Well, division operates much like multiplication. By the rules for multiplication, then the uncertainty in xy is xy times delta x over x plus delta y over y. So now, if we want to find the uncertainty in x divided by y, we can make a new quantity w that equals 1 over y. So that x over y is just x times w, because we know the rule for the product of numbers, and we also know the rule for inverses. So the uncertainty in x times w from the rule for products is delta x over x plus delta w over del w. By the rules for inversion, we know that the uncertainty in w, which is just the uncertainty in 1 over y, is 1 over y times delta y over y. Or, since w is 1 over y, then we can write that as w times delta y over y. So, if we rearrange this, then delta w over delta over w equals delta y over y. So by combining these two rules, we get, by the product rule, this is the uncertainty in x times w, but now we know that w, is delta w over w, this term here, from the rule for inverses, is delta y over y, so we can put that in here, and now finally we can replace w with 1 over y, so we see that the uncertainty in x over y is x over y times delta x over x plus delta y over y. So when dividing numbers, we add the proportional uncertainties just like for multiplication. So to summarize, the uncertainty in x over y is x over y times delta x over x plus delta y over y. And remember, again, just like for multiplication, if either x or y are negative, then we need to put absolute value signs around these terms because uncertainty contributions always have to be positive, and we need to put absolute value signs around here because the total uncertainty also has to be positive. So, when inverting a number, the proportional uncertainty stays the same. So the uncertainty in 1 over something is the same proportional uncertainty as in the original thing. When we divide numbers, we add proportional uncertainties. So, again, um, 2 plus or minus 1 over 32 plus or minus 2, 0.2, goes like this, and so we get this. And then finally, as always, uncertainties in final results are usually expressed to one significant figure. So the above result, when we round the uncertainty to one significant figure, we get this. And then once we've rounded the uncertainty to one significant figure, we make the last digit in the result be 
the same decimal place as the uncertainty.